Hey, Mark here with m and Horsemanship. We've had some people ask us about how we travel with horses and some, some things about it. And since we do travel a bunch with our horses, we've developed some tips and tricks and just some things that help us get down the road smoothly and help our horses have a good time. So we're going to put out a little video on some of those things that we've learned. So I hope you like it. Uh, look for it on our website. Today, we're going to give you a little excerpt from that video. We're going to show you one thing that we do every time we stop pit stop refuel whatever one thing that can really help you and your horses head off trouble at the pass you'll see some see some things today that uh, can really help you stay out of trouble so hope you like this one little tip that you can do okay when you stop it's important to kind of keep out of trouble if you kind of check your tires now a lot of times it's kind of a little bit of hassle to get out an air gauge go around there check all the tire pressure a little bit of a hassle i can tell you i don't do it every time i don't take a, a tire pressure and check all the tire pressures and all the tires every time but what i do do is i walk up i put my hand on the tire put my hand on the hub okay they should be about the same temperature and they shouldn't be too hot that you can't put your hand on them. If you go around there, most horse traders will have two axles. So if you go around there and you put your hand on all the tires and they all feel about the same temperature, you're, you're looking pretty good. Same thing with the hubs. They should all be about the same temperature. What, what you're looking for is when you stop, you have made one tire, you pick up a nail in a tire, and it starts getting a little bit low, and you don't realize it. So... A little bit while down the road it gets too hot and then it comes apart so if you just stopped and checked you know you might it might be the last time you you know you got fuel it was already getting a little bit low but you never really touched it so what i do is i go around there and touch them that way it kind of you can prevent some trouble a lot of times you'll kind of figure out that before it happens there's th same thing with a hub when you put your hand on the hub if it gets too hot or if you get one of them that starts getting warmer than the rest it's probably low on grease, so you need to have that one repacked or looked at. It, that heat is caused from friction. So you can keep yourself out of trouble by having a, a tire come off or something. If you just check your hubs all the time, just make sure they don't get too, too hot. So just make sure they're all the same. You're looking pretty good. One thing you can do, got this little infrared thermometer here. You can just point it at it. Uh, that's uh, 120 degrees on the tire. And the hub is 115, 116. That one's 123 on the tire, 110 on the hub. Hope you like the tip. Hope it keeps you safe.